Hey guys, it's Matt here. Welcome back. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Litmore capsule. So this is actually a Kickstarter. It's not officially out yet, but the company went ahead and sent me one in order to test out. So first off, I'm just going to explain what it is. It's a security camera slash floodlight that mounts onto the side of your house in order to monitor who enters your house, who enters your property. And it has AI built into it. So it can actually detect whether it's animals, burglars or just family members that are going onto your property. So this got funded on Kickstarter. It's doing pretty well. Link will be down below if you want to go ahead and contribute to it. But it's a really cool concept. And honestly, it was really easy to set up. The hardest part for me was actually taking off the old system I had on, which was a basic motion detection light that was really hard to get off due to it being rusty and being on there for a long time. Once it was off, it was as straightforward as putting two wires into the Litmore capsule and two screws into the wall and that was it. And then it simply snapped onto the wall and it was good to go. Pairing process is really easy. The app works great. Doesn't work as well on the iOS one as the Android one, which is unusual. Um, but with the Android one, I set it up, I paired it to the Wi-Fi network and overall it was really easy and straightforward. It had voice guidance and it worked flawlessly. So the actual view the camera has is really cool because it's a 180 degree field of view. So it can pretty much see anything that's in front of it, no matter where it is. So if it's on the far left, far right, as long as it's in front of your house, then it's going to capture it. And it records in 2K video, so it's pretty high quality. You can zoom in and see details of faces to work out who burglars are or people on your property. And the AI function is really, really good. It actually does detect when there's like animals, like a cat or something, or whether it's just a family member leaving or coming home, uh, definitely works out what's happening pretty good. So it actually has this function where you can actually speak to people like outside your house live from your smartphone inside the app. So you can hold down a microphone button, talk to them, and they can talk back and you can hear them through your smartphone. So it's two way communication. Uh, it's actually really, really handy. Say someone delivers a package and they're outside your house, you can easily speak to them and tell them to leave it around the back or in your porch or something like that. It can be quite handy and especially if friends are coming over, you can easily speak to them and just say that you're out and you'll be back in like 10, 15 minutes, um, things like that. So it's pretty handy and it's also really nice how they have the addition of the floodlight. So it's a 360 degree floodlight. It does it in all directions and it's actually pretty bright. So if you're coming home late at night, it will easily illuminate the drive or your front garden enough for you to see your way into the house. I like how it has the night mode. It's really, really easy to see things of a night coming up and down the drive and animals, things like that. It's really, really easy to see. Now, something I just wanted to point out, if you have multiple people in the household who want to use the Litmore capsule, you can all download the app, create your own personal account, and they can link together inside the apps. Now, in terms of how it stores the video, there is cloud service coming soon. However, it does simply store it on internal storage, which is available to access from the web. So you can view it remotely from your phone or any other devices logged in, and it will come straight from the SD card. So it's pretty good. There's no fee for cloud storage like the Ring doorbell does. Uh, this is really nice because it's just a one-off cost. Now, talking about cost, this on Kickstarter prices in at $195 or £150. So if you guys want to go ahead and pledge for the final version or you want to just contribute some money, the link will be down below. But it's actually a really cool idea. And if you're interested, definitely check the link. It has a lot more details and you can go ahead and read through it and see a little bit more about the capsule. Now, honestly, I kind of like the shape. It's like a big tic tac sort of thing, um, but it does change angle. You can twist it and manipulate it to move down or up. So pretty much any position you want is achievable with this. So I'm just going to show you guys the app. So just on my S10 plus, I have the Litmore Capsule app. So obviously it's the Android version. Um, so it loads up pretty quick. User interface is, I mean, it's not bad. It's not like insanely cool, but it does get the job done. It has the functionality there. Um, so you can live view, you can turn the light on and you can turn on auto alert. So in case anyone comes onto your property. So when you click on it, you can easily see the live view at the top and then you can go ahead and view a timeline of all the different motion detections. So if I simply scroll down and look for say animal, which is here, I can easily go ahead and play this back and actually see if it was an animal. So as you can see, there's a cat in the bottom right corner of my driveway pretty good AI detection there. Hopefully this will improve over time. And I've already had numerous software updates for this as well. So I can only imagine it will get better 
And honestly, this is a really cool idea to have AI detect whether someone is bad or not. I guess every time it might not be reliable, but every single time I have tested it, it's worked pretty damn good and it's overall better than having nothing. So you can't really go wrong with this. In terms of viewing the live view, you simply rotate your phone and you can get a full screen. You have a microphone button so you can easily talk both ways, like I said before. You can turn on audio to hear what's going on. There's a little bell in the top left corner and that actually allows you to activate an alarm system. So it's a really, really loud noise. It's gonna scare people away and you can actually customize it to be anything you want. So personally, I just leave the alarm on, but you can make it dogs barking if you wanted to go a little bit cringy. Um, but there's also a record button so you can go ahead and video record whenever you want or you can go ahead and take a photo whenever you want as well. Now you can see 180 degrees, which I said, but there is a button here which changes the view and it actually splits up the view. So you can go ahead and see things without the warp, without the distortion of the 180 degree camera and it will split it up into its own individual cameras so you can see like separate ones on the screen. Personally, I like the full field of view, but I guess the option's there. Uh, but it's just really, really nice the way this app is laid out and the way it works. There isn't too much else it can do apart from that, but that's like the main reason that this product exists. So that's pretty much my video. That's it. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. Leave all your comments and opinions down below. I'd love to hear from you guys and definitely don't forget to subscribe. Peace out, guys. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in.